Hi, I'm Philippa Perry. What's troubling you? Hey, Philippa. I graduated this summer with a good degree from university and I'm living at home with my family while on post-graduation job hunting. Uh, I'm not exactly having a lot of luck and I'm finding it very hard to keep motivated. My parents obviously graduated at a different time, so whenever I tell them what I'm applying for, they ask me whether I might be setting my sights too low because their idea of the job that graduates are supposed to do is a little different from the 21st century reality. It's not very encouraging considering I'm getting rejected from even the jobs which are supposed to be below me. Um, I'm finding it very difficult to remain motivated and maintain a positive attitude and I also feel like the whole process is negatively affecting my self-esteem. It's making me pretty resentful and I'm finding it hard to celebrate my friends' achievements even though I want to be happy for them. I imagine this is something that a lot of young people and graduates are feeling, but it's hard to talk about or know how to emotionally deal with because I'm also aware that as a graduate with a good degree who's able to live at home indefinitely, I feel really, really lucky. So do you have any advice on how not to lose motivation while applying for jobs and how to keep my emotional health and self-esteem up? Oh, babes. It's okay to feel crap. It's difficult not to take it personally when you receive rejection after rejection. You're right, it's much harder now than when your parents were looking for jobs. And yes, finding a job is likely to increase your self-esteem, but there's other things you can do before you get there. Here's my four-step plan to deal with graduate unemployment. Number one, don't tell yourself off for how you feel. Even though you've got a family and somewhere to live, if you tell yourself off for not being grateful, well, that's just one more thing to bring you down. Number two, this punching below your weight malarkey, aiming for jobs for which you're overqualified, I think you can also look where you're going to be most appreciated. There is an Aristotle quote, and it goes like this, where your talents and the needs of the world cross, there lies your vocation. If you're applying to places where your talents aren't appreciated, then in the long run, it's probably not going to work out. So humour your parents a bit and go for some jobs that aren't punching below your weight as well. You can go for both. OK, number three. One of the horrible things about unemployment is a lack of structure. A structure is like a skeleton, it holds you. Give yourself a timetable and make sure part of it is getting together with other graduates also looking for work because it's important to stay connected. Number four. The other thing you need is meaning. Not when a job comes along, but right now. You need to start up a project of some sort. It doesn't have to be worthy. It can be a fun thing like um, hosting a nightclub, publishing an anthology of poetry, keeping a comic strip diary, learning sign language, training for a marathon, a photo project, volunteering, politics. But you need to brainstorm this, not me. It's important to have something which you commit to and gets you up in the morning even if it isn't work. Right now, you might not know what your heart's desire is, but there's nothing like experimentation to find out. Yep, it's tough out there and good luck. If you want to leave me a voicemail, please call my Guardian phone line, plus four four two zero three three five three three eight four one. I do eventually want to have a fairly traditional setup. I'd like to have a family someday, but I know that where I'm going, I'm getting deeper and deeper into a lifestyle that I'm not sure how to change. So how do I turn things around? Thanks.